Hello everybody, this is Candidates Cards on the, on the Table and today we're discussing proposals related to the environment. First up is Dara. Hi everyone, our first candidate proposes the creation of a plan against illegal mining and deforestation, the creation of a national authority regarding public environmental policies, incentives for importing electric and hybrid cars, reaffirming commitment to the Paris Climate um, Agreement, and attention for people in high-risk um, areas. A good point about this candidate is that he is committed with the Paris Agreement, but a bad thing is that he is also committed with more mining and is open to fracking. Hello, the second candidate proposes raising awareness, pride and responsibility for Colombia's biodiversity, more integration of renewable forms of energy and more focus on the management and protection of water. Continued development of the mining sector with the highest safety standards and the combating of illegal mining. Commitment to fight climate change by reducing carbon footprint. Agricultural production with sustainable and environmentally friendly practice. So a positive thing is promoting environmental awareness is necessary. Not all the solutions should be lost, but the candidate wants to raise awareness for Colombia's biodiversity, but he's also in favor of mining and oil extraction. Hi everyone, our third candidate proposes, first, uh, the protection and management of our natural resources, protect ecosystems, and work with the Ministry of the Environment uh, and other actors to recuperate our rivers. Second, fight against climate change by focusing on renewable forms of energy as well as varying the energy grid to reduce greenhouse emissions. Uh, third, have a balance between development and protection by prioritizing industries and sectors of the economy who have responsible practices. And finally, sustainable management and conservation of the forest. Uh, the promotion of sustainable forests as an alternative form of income and production for rural communities. A positive thing of these proposals is that there is a real interest in, in the protection of the, of the natural resources of the country and a negative point is that there is no clarity about how to promote sustainable practices in the uh, enterprises. Hi everyone, uh, this candidate emphasized uh, his proposal uh, inequality as the main source of environmental degradation, especially deforestation, which is why we must move from moral extractivism to vital productivism. He stressed the urgency of a tra transition from coal based economy, whose demand he assured will fall when the next government ends, to one based on protecting the environment. To achieve this, he stressed the importance of prohibiting fracking bettering on clean energies such as solar power, encouraging the community generation of clean energy, and guarantee territorial autonomy to decide on oil and sub-oil. He also emphasized the importance of avoiding property speculation and facing corruption in order to intervene on the Bogota sheet and thus warranty the protection of key ecosystems such as the ban Dea Hammer Reserve. Uh, biodiversity as the guiding principle of Colombia's development and the need to rethink uh, aggressive infrastructure models with the environment. Uh, one positive thing, a transition towards an environmentally responsible economy is necessary and the, and the provision of fracking must be considered for the medium term. Negative thing, uh, this transition requires investment and many economic resources, and the candidate does not make clear where this will come from. Hi everyone, the final candidate proposes an effective protection of the moors and wetlands and comprehensive management of water sources for urban centers, maintaining conditions to provide clean energy, including hydroelectric, improve the resilience of the system with renewable energies, paving the way so that by 2050, Colombia will be able to provide 
100% of its electrical energy with renewable sources at a fair price. Increase the number of hectares of land being restored and reforested from 200,000 to 600,000 through processes of compensation for biodiversity and restructuring of productive systems. Continuing efforts to reduce deforestation, aiming for 0% by 2030, and achieving a realistic reduction in illegal mining by 2022. One good thing is that there is a clear interest to make the country more sustainable and to increase the environmental awareness. But the bad thing is that many of these proposals are long-term oriented, so there is a possibility that his successor will not fulfill them. Okay, thanks very much, Juliana. So, all that's left is to reveal the names of the five candidates. The first candidate is Germán Vargas Lleras. The second candidate is Ivan Duque. Our third candidate was Humberto de la Calle. This candidate was Gustavo Petro. So the final candidate is Sergio Fajardo. Oh, 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 oh,